Cases continuing to surge because of the Omicron variant. Some local businesses are now taking safety precautions into their own hands. News 13's Madison Connor joins us live in the studio with what one Taos business is doing to stay safe. Good morning, Madison. Good morning, David. Despite a tough few years of restrictions and closures on businesses, Taos Mesa Brewing owner Jason Wiley says he knew what he had to do when cases started popping up closer to home. Around the holiday weekend, Taos was a heavily trafficked area thanks to tourists coming into town. Unfortunately for Wiley, that meant some of his employees came in contact with someone who had COVID-19. Once he noticed employees showing symptoms, he closed the doors to his business and waited for their test results. During that time, they did a deep clean of the brewery. Making decisions in this in this environment is, is hard to do because you really never know what the right one's going to be. You have to a, a very fine balance between generating revenue, being an economic engine for your community and your your employees. Wiley has 50 employees right now. 20% of the employees tested positive with only a few not experiencing symptoms. Wiley has been closed down since January 1st. Right now, however, they are open for takeout. Now, despite missing out on some revenue, Wiley is glad he made the decision he did to prevent more employees from contracting the virus as they are already understaffed. David, back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Madison. Now, Taos Mesa Brewing is planning on reopening as normal on Friday. Bar seating will remain closed for the time being. As for